You know, it's safe to say that there's a lot of action going down as usual on Charmed. I found these letters hidden in the attic. Mom wrote to our future selves. Remember, once you give up your immortality, you can never get it back. He's doing all of this so we can be together. We don't know all the side effects of becoming mortal. That's his decision to make. Oh, well, it's always a magical time when Mel, Macy, and Maggie are involved. So from the cast of Charmed, please welcome Sarah Jeffrey, a.k.a. Maggie, and Jordan Donica, a.k.a. Jordan! I love that you did that. Hello, right. hello, hello. I know. That's, that, this is what I do. I carry it around. <laughs> so I, I was saying to you guys earlier in the break that, Jordan, this is my first time meeting you. Sarah, I met you with your TV sisters in L.A. for season one, before Great. the premiere even. So, and we know yes. your characters, Maggie and Jordan, met in Seattle. So was working together on this show your first time meeting ever in real life? No, we, um, we actually had a um, chemistry reading in L.A. Um, I remember very vividly. Um, and I, as soon as Jordan and he, he started speaking, I was like, oh, he's the one. <laughs> Oh! Oh, is he about? Oh my God, Jordan's about to cry. Oh, no, it's so sweet. No, it's so sweet. It's so right? sweet. I, I remember that day very well, and yeah. uh, it was it was a very, I don't know, it was just one of one of those. We were both going through a lot, and but yeah, it was, it was I a think really. I, I think I cried during this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You but cried was, then, now Jordan's about to cry now. If you want me to cry, well, I'm not a great okay. actress, so my crying might not be for real. But, <laughs> no, seriously. But, so, Jordan, let's talk about your character, Jordan, right? Mm -hmm. and, and because yeah. we met you in season two, and now you're, yeah. like, a regular in season three, so you're now in our world. So, so how are you dealing with this mystical, magical world? Because Sarah's already used to all the magic and all the fantasy and <laughs> stuff. I personally, Jordan Donica, I love it. It's been it's been a blast. Jordan Chase, I think he loves it, but it's one of those things. And this season, you start to see it kind of like um, uh, wear on him in terms of the consequences <laughs> of of being in the magical world. That he's just kind of along for the ride, truly. Um, but he but what he does more than anything is he he feels this obligation towards Maggie and to her sisters because he understands. What it's uh, what it's like to deal with trauma, mm -hmm. and to deal with intense scenarios from being uh, uh, a serviceman overseas, a medic. Mm. So, so I think that that's one of the things that he can like bring that he brings to the table in terms of empathy, because it's like, hey, mm -hmm. like, and you can't really talk about this with yep. anyone in your life. So it's nice to be able to be that shoulder or that mm -hmm. ear to just to just, hey, what's up? Talk to me. What's Gosh, up? Jordan, is your goal to make me cry? I'm getting this close, Jordan. But wait. Now that all three of us, all three of us will be We can just cry together. We have, but we have six shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have six. I can't count. So I was like, we have six shoulders <laughs> among us, so we're good to go. So it's funny that uh, Sarah mentioned, you know, uh, chemistry at first, and then you mentioned this season. So how much of the chemistry between the two are we going to see this season? Because we know there's something there. It's been mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it really builds, becomes more complicated in a sense. Um, and like Jordan was saying earlier, they just become more more open with each other in, in terms of like the full picture of, of why it might be challenging. And um, yeah, it's just, I, I really like the way they developed this, this relationship because it's very, it's very real and it's not just about the physicality, it's about the emotional aspect, uh, which is really important. All right, so why is there? I went ooh when you were talking because there was some lady. They were playing the trailer, and the lady, the scary lady behind Jordan. I thought I was gonna <laughs> faint. I was like, oh my gosh! So I'm sorry. I'm a wuss. It is like it's it's what it is. But you know. Uh, so let me talk about this, Sarah, because we a lot of your fans know you from the Descendants movies. So we know you can sing mm -hmm. and dance and act as well, <laughs> right? And so the charmed important. audience has already got to see your dancing skills. And the fact that you two get along, does it have to do with also the fact that Mr. Jordan has a theater background as well? See how I said theater? A theater. <laughs> oh, I definitely think, well, yeah, because we're always just riffing on this and that and singing and dancing and tap dancing. Really? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to sing and dance and riff with me? I can't sing, just to let you know. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Wherever, Wherever is you are. What? 
Wait, I will not right now because my voice, I don't know if you can tell, but I was screaming my head off last week. Um, Jordan can attest to that. Yes. And um, it's, it's just, I haven't fully really recovered yet. So. No, don't even bother. We'll save it for the <laughs> next time I see you guys in person. I'll work on my notes and my moves and we'll do like a sing-along with all yes. the sisters. I'll and I'll bring the tissues. Oh, pa Pali, I'll bring my shoulders for you to cry <laughs> on. Sarah, Jordan, such a pleasure to see you guys again. Well, to meet you and to see you again. Charmed has moved to a new night and time. They'll be casting their spells on Friday nights at 8, followed by Dynasty at 9 p.m. And it go all goes down right here on Pix11.